Ascot Racecourse broke with tradition to welcome 12 of the best pilots in the world to the United Kingdom for the fifth round of the 2014 season. A sellout crowd was treated to the full Red Bull Air Race experience. The drama started at once in the top 12. Britain's Paul Bonham flew first against Germany's Matthias Doldra. Needing to respond after his worst qualifying run of the season, the two-time champion produced his best time of the weekend. But the German judged his lines even better and beat the home favourite by nearly a second. Bonham could qualify only as a lucky loser. Then it was Matt Hall's turn to shock the home crowd as he set Britain's birthday boy, Nigel Lamb, a time of 1 minute 13.571 to beat. But Lamb finished with exactly the same time. Hall went through on a photo finish. Lamb was left hoping to be a lucky loser. Then came the shock of the day as qualifying's fastest man, Pete McLeod, sliced into a pylon as he tried to make up time in the wind. The Canadian was knocked out of the competition in the first race day action. But to the relief of huge home support, Bonhomme and Lamb progressed to the Super 8. And Bonhomme made that let-off count with a faultless run to qualify for the final four. Suddenly, his championship challenge was regaining significant momentum. That became even clearer after title leader Hannes Ark got his run all wrong right from the start. First a penalty for no smoke, then he suffered another for going too high through gate three. The result, the slowest time and eighth place, his worst result of the year. By contrast, Frenchman Nicolas Ivanov followed up a season's best qualifying with another strong performance to reach the final four for the first time in 2014. Likewise, Matthias Stolder was chasing his first win against the two Brits. Paul Bonham went first and rose to the occasion, just as the Ascot fan club hoped he would. All the problems of the last few races were forgotten as the Briton posted a weekend best. Nigel Lamb was looking to celebrate his 58th birthday in the best possible way. Quicker at first, he was right on track until giving away crucial time in the final gates. There would be no emotional home victory for him this time, but Bonhomme was still leading with only Ivanov to fly. Like Lamb, the Frenchman was up on the clock, but not by the finish where Bonhomme was left to celebrate a special victory, his 15th in the Red Bull Air Race. I think it has to be the greatest escape yet, hasn't it? Plus the British crowd just love aviation, they love racing, and this is just such a superb setting. Ascot's debut lived up to all expectations. A thrilling event, a British 1-2 on the podium, and a world championship battle has become a three-horse race covered by just eight points. Nigel Lamb and Paul Bonham are back in the hunt with three rounds remaining.